Mark, Jim and I were talking earlier about veterans in camp. What, what's your approach about getting ready for the regular season? It, it seems every year spring training's longer and longer. Yeah, uh, you make sure you're physically ready, I think. And, uh, you know, as far as the performance side, you hope for the best, I think. Um, I think it's a little bit different look than, um, you know, maybe when I first was in some of the big league camps. I think a lot of guys are competing for spots and uh, kind of going all out in the beginning. Well, you know, you play, end up playing first base today, even though you were scheduled to be the DH. You know, you, I mean, I, I've seen you play so long. You, you know, didn't you play third for the Angels? You played right field, You played, which you played well for the Orioles. You played first base. Do you do those things in spring training to get ready for the season just in case? Today was um, a little bit last minute, but uh, I need to be a guy with some versatility. I need to be able to give Chris a day off. Um, I stay, you know, as sharp as I can in right field, but... Um, situations like this, I'm probably the guy that's going to be doing it. So it's it's necessary not to not to get too caught off guard and, and be prepared and um, contribute when you can. Now, Trey Mancini just told us that you were nice enough to lend him your glove because his new glove isn't broken in yet. Now, what would have happened if you had to go in the outfield? He had your glove. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> there would have been some trading. I don't know. I might have brought the first base glove. But no, we have enough. We have enough. But I think uh, that's one of the things when you get a new glove. It, it does take a while. So... Um, usually bring something uh, old and, and broken in before. So, you know, last year I think you were talking, or maybe your first year here, because this year going to be your third year, you told me the, one of the most important things in spring training, and we're so early, I mean, we're not even to March 1st, is that you want to see quality breaking balls. You saw a couple today, but you want to see quality breaking balls, and that really get, helps you get ready for the season? Yeah, no doubt. That was premium stuff. Uh, you know, uh, that's kind of what you see, especially if you're one of the regulars. It's usually uh, the more established guys are going to pitch early on. And um, fortunately for uh, a lot of the other guys in the lineup today, um, they got a pretty good look. Manny had a great game, Trey, CD. So um, it looks like we're, uh, you know, today was a good day for us. Now, numbers-wise, I, I know as veterans, the, that, that's not something that you're too concerned about as Mount Castle gets in the one to deep center field, and that ball's going to go. Wow. There's another home run. The Orioles' top prospect hitting it out. And it's now nine to one. But as far as getting ready for the season, obviously you'd like to have numbers. But for a guy like you, it doesn't matter. You know you're going to be on the team, and you're just getting ready for March 29th, right? I personally operate with a little. If I apply a little pressure, um, I like to compete. You know, I, I like to do well. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I just I'm not a guy that operates too well with added comfort. I'd rather kind of feel like I'm um, always fighting, um, even if you know. On paper, things kind of line up a certain way. I want to feel like a, I'm always in tune and, and never too comfortable. Well, Mark, we appreciate the visit. Uh, looks like the bats are breaking out. And uh, go out and have a good year, and we, uh, we really appreciate you joining us. Thanks, guys.